Hey folks, R from L47 here, uh, Robert coming from Dallas, Texas. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, talk and hubbub and what you call it, whatever you want to call it, on the web right now about uh, not being able to get uh, Solar Dynamics Observatory out and uh, some space weather out. Uh, lots of things going on about some very large X flare yesterday, which is not been measured on anything but right now i thought i'd go ahead and pull up uh power outages uh in the maryland area and uh, the washington dc area green belt which i'm going to hover my cursor over it it's going to pull up a little thing which will get in the way but i'm going to tell you green belt is right in this area right here okay now if you read the legend up here it's in an area that there's more than 5,000 customers without service. Just below that, there's still 1,000 to 5,000 customers without service. So this is still from the storms that went through yesterday and day before yesterday. So I realize that a lot of people are going, well, what about redundancy servers in this? Well, we're talking about our government, and you know our government is not real good about having redundant servers and backups that things and like that. Uh, when it comes to stuff like this, um, there's no blackout of satellites because I can actually go over and look at another uh, place that shows us stuff from SDO. And let me get over there right now. But anyway, again, just a, t a quick look at this map that shows you that there are still lots of bad power outages, major power outages in the uh, Area. In fact, it says right now there's still 339,000 affected customers, uh, 19,000 active outages. That was from that derecho day before yesterday. Okay, uh, I went over to uh, uh, the Belgium site that hosts uh, SDO satellite data. I will uh, put this puppy in motion, and this is the last uh, 24 hours up till about. Uh, I'd say I think it's 3 p.m. Eastern time today so so this is 24 hours worth of data and um, the we can see there's flaring going on in this very active region behind this kind of scorpion looking uh, coronal hole we'll go ahead and let it play again uh, again, flaring yesterday, there was some pretty good flares, but we've been having a lot of M flares. We just had an M flare uh, like an hour ago, an M31, I believe. Um, but again, here's this is uh, live or near real time. I mean, it's, it's SDO data that is online now, and I'll put a link to it down below. But uh, before anybody gets too wound up about missing data, let's just think about. Uh, server redundancy and stuff that um, maybe our government's not so good at and this is not going to be on the high end for them I mean if they can get this data if we can get it from uh, you know off of a Belgium server that means it's still being fed there somehow uh, people were talking about not being able to get it from like the Japan Space Agency or Australian Space Agency well maybe they get theirs from the our servers that are sitting in Maryland which are right now probably not running so again Sun right now looks active it is active M flares very large coronal hole which is gonna cause us to have some geomagnetic storming uh, if we would had a very large flare yesterday we'd see some I think we would already be seeing some other things that would cause us to uh, stop and kind of take a closer look because uh, if it was going to be some X some odd flare chances are there would have been protons associated with it now not every X flare produces a proton storm but if it was supposed to be a big one that they're trying to hush hush uh, I think we would have seen it show up on other things they couldn't have hidden that much so uh, I'm, I appreciate all the people that ask information or look for the truth and want to know if people are trying to hide things from us I know there's lots of conspiracy people uh, that follow things and more power to them because that's what gets me to study things uh, so anyway just to show you again right now I'm getting real-time pictures um, 
SDO data uh, out of the Belgium site and uh, I will put a link to that down below and uh, I'll also put a link to the uh, where you can look up the power outages there for the Washington and uh, the Maryland area where the Goddard Space Flight Center is that went into red alert yesterday so anyway everybody uh, doesn't look like it's a big issue right now it's just kind of it's one of those weird issues so again it's just just one of those special reports uh from me robert vermilion who uh just wanted to let you know that uh the sun is still up there and it doesn't look like it's about to kill us right this minute okay all right well everybody settle down and uh y'all try to have a good one